G'day guys, I'm Nick. I walked 900 k's across Spain with my dad. It was one of the hardest but most rewarding experiences of my life. This is our story. I chose to walk the Camino for a number of reasons. The first is because the opportunity presented itself. I didn't particularly seek it out. My dad had recently retired and rekindled his adventurous spirit, and he invited me. We have landed okay. in Camino, day zero. Where's the frothy beverages at? We wanted the post office, but the post office appears to be closed, so we're gonna to go to the pub. I'd say it's pretty rare for a 62-year-old father and his 32-year-old son to be able to spend 40-something days walking across Spain together. An opportunity for priceless experiences and memories with Dad that I'll cherish forever. We found the beer. We've had about one beer and we're all drunk. Je ne peux. la vie. Famous bridge of Saint Jean Pierre de Port. Buen Camino! Day one. Day one is meant to be the hardest day. We're about to discover <laughs> what hard means south of France. Something amazing is going to happen today, right, John? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Something amazing. Today is a good day. We are one with the world and we are at peace. Buen Camino! Buen Camino! So you see that guy there? That's Jock. He's a real close family friend. In fact, the father of my brother's wife. He walked with us for about the first week and a bit. So we've lost Dad. Trail blazer. We've gone half an hour. He's disappearing bolting. into the mist. We can't see him. Setting a mean pace. We found some fellow Australians on the trail. G'day guys. <laughs> How you going? Wow, we've walked higher than the clouds. <clears throat> With our Swedish friends. Being alive is pretty awesome, I reckon. And we only get one go at it. So personally, I want to make sure it's the best it can be. This is the second reason I walked. I'm not sure if I struggle with it more than others, but I'm constantly met with the thought, is this the totality of my life? Is there more out there for me? And it was this thought that drove me to quit my job, throw it all in, and put myself to the Camino test. Only uh, 790 kilometers to go. Docs are owning their photographs. When we checked in for our credentials, um, the man giving us our first stamp gave us some really good advice, which was to walk at your own pace, and not not to try and keep up with uh, the rest of your group, because that can uh, build tensions, and I think your body just performs better when you're uh, going at your natural pace. So that's what I'm doing. The guys are ahead and I'm just cruising. Day three, leaving Zubiri on our way to Pamplona. We had a lovely swim in the river last night, yesterday. Feeling fresh. Sort of. This is Martin. G'day Martin. Hey. <laughs> I think the third reason I walked was love, or perhaps lack thereof. At 32 I was starting to feel the pressure of needing to meet my soulmate, 
and I felt like I'd exhausted all avenues at home, so why not travel abroad and see what pops up? We are in Pamplona. Pamplona on a rest day. Having a rest day. My knee isn't great. In fact, I limped for an hour into town yesterday. I thought he was the old man, but it looks like I'm the old man. I think we share these things over the period, don't we? Day five, leaving Pamplona without a backpack. We had a rest day yesterday. Lovely. My knee's feeling a little bit better. What have we got here? We were able to send my pack to the destination for five euro. So you attach this little envelope and you write down what alberga you want to stay at and then you pack there when you get there, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And planers in the background. Found my own pace, cruising along. Having a good time. Definitely uh, feeling the benefit of not having my pack on today. Dad's way up ahead somewhere. He seems to be going pretty well. I think we've got about 14 kilometers to go to Ponta Lorena. And as long as it stays how it is now, I think I'll be right. Look at these beautiful flowers, eh? Truly is a beautiful place. Got some wind farms up ahead. How you guys feeling? <laughs> this is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it's all about. Bung knee, good music, amazing views, great company. Look at all this great company I've got. Flying solo, that's me. Giddy up. got a really sore throat. It's like swallowing daggers. I'm quite sure what's going on. I don't have any other flu symptoms, but I've got a seriously sore throat. Can't even swallow. Sore knee, sore throat. What is going on? But check that out for a few, eh? Kind of makes it worthwhile. We don't know what day it is. Off to Estea today, 20 something kilometers. Slow and steady wins the race. And we're just walking, that's all we're doing. Two Nurofen, magnesium, curcumin. What else have we got happening? Mobic, anti inflammatory, <laughs> probiotic. <laughs> And that'll, that'll get you on the road. Ben Camino! <laughs> There's a beautiful sense of hope when you're on the Camino. Everyone's sharing the same journey and the same path. There's quotes all over the way, written on walls, on rock, on bridges, everywhere. Words of encouragement, words of hope. And we made it to Estea. My feet up. Having a chillax, 
It's just over 20 k's today, I think. Feeling pretty good, the knee's better. Uh, toes are a little bit, there you go. But, eh, pretty good, mate. There you go. Hi, Mr. You're right. Saturday morning. It's amazing how much sleep helps rejuvenate the body. Last night I was very tired. But a good eight and a half hour sleep and you're back on the road feeling good. So I'm sure in six hours from now I'll feel very different, but um onwards and upwards on our way. On our way to Santiago. Here we are with Trev from Brisbane. How you going Trev? Good mate. The last food stop before Los Arcos. Halfway so we've stocked up on Pocadillo. Natalie from Germany, how you going? <laughs> Taro from Balmain, how you going? Whoa, whoa, okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. There's that funny thing that happens when you get older. You know, when you're young, you stare up at your parents from down there where you are, and you see them for these heroic, wise beings who have all the answers. They're invincible. But when you get older, you start to discover that your parents are just normal people too, trying to work it all out, trying to do the best they can, and that's a beautiful feeling. A couple of weary old travelers here, hiding out under the shade. <laughs> Take a bloody look at us, mate. Jeez, we look crook. <laughs> we passed a old mate back there. It was only one k ago, and he's uh, under a tree, slumped under a tree. Looked a bit sunburned. Looked a bit worse for wear, mate. Yeah. Had it, walking in thongs with a huge blister on his heel. Sunburned face. And a sombrero. <laughs> anyway, here we are. This is quite nice. Nice breeze before we hit the old sunburnt, dusty. Onto Torres del Rio, maybe two kilometers. Woo! Hey, gal, mate. Hey, hey, hey gal. We made it. David from Hungary, how you going? <laughs> sort of. Dom from Germany, how you going? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Cheers, mate, how you going? Torres <laughs> Torres del Rio! Alright, good morning. On our way to Logroño, just having left Torres del Rio. Hola, como estas? Hey, buen camino! <laughs> A short little 20 kilometer stroll today. It's too easy for us now. Near Donald. Santiago, Santiago Apostol. Apostol, something, that was shit. What's up gals, Let's you're just... gonna be famous. Too hot, but we're happy. We got up at 5am today. It's going to be 38 degrees, so we wanted to hit the road early. Chef, Chef Nick, chorizo, and hard cheese. 
Oh yeah, now I just need a fine coffee. The biggest part of the Camino journey is the people you meet along the way. You turn some corner and there they are and you speak a few deep words and the next they're gone. Others you end up with walking most of the way and making some lasting friendships. And no matter how different we are, and trust me we're all very different, we have something in common and it's that thing that says, I just need to get out there and see the world and get right amongst it. You really do meet people from every corner of the earth and I think that's what I love most about it. Well, adios. Adios. Buen camino. Adios. Hey, 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 hey. Yo. Wow. Hey. Woo. Are you filming this? Uh, a lot of pressure. See, si. para Franco, para Franco, or Paco, or Francisco. <laughs> This is how we do the washing in the Hera. The old boy taking his morning photograph. Okay, no worries. Hey, buenos dias. Ah, Where are we off to, Martin? Um, Sucrela Reina. Come on, mate, where's your accent? <laughs> We're eventually going to Santo Domingo. Ah, land of the chickens. Chickens okay, come back to life. <laughs> hey, Martina, Mama, here. What are you cooking, <laughs> eh? Esta es la pasta bolognese de la mamá, mamá, mamá mia. Mama. <laughs> Get the dusty, eh? I'm in love with your body. 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 Every day discovering something brand new. I'm in love with the shape of you. Drop the mic. Amigo. Oh! <laughs> what? Sorry. Not a lot of water, no food, <laughs> sore feet. Been uphill for about three hours. It's six k's to go to San Juan. So, you know that feeling when you've been holding on and you've got to go to the toilet yeah. and you've been holding on for about <clears throat> an hour. Yeah. And all of a sudden you see the toilet you're about to explode. You, you can't there? hold it any longer. Are you there? The Camino's like that, you see. <laughs> You've been walking for 20 kilometers. And once you know the end is in sight, that's when your legs feel like they're about to burst. And you can't hold it any longer. This is True. the way. This is the way of the Camino. P.S. Check out my little addition to the cap here, guys. I got a little bit crafty and got inspired and attached the old Camino shell. So I'm a legitimate Peregrino now. It's not until you wear the shell that you're a legitimate Peregrino. I'm an illegitimate Peregrino. <laughs> Thank you.
Molto bene! Certo! Oh, certo. Il a pu la e di tout ça! Je sais pas si tu te rends compte! On la rencontre! On se dit oulala, oulala, la 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 Guten Tag. <laughs> Hello. It's good. For thousands of years, people have made this pilgrimage and their trace is clear. People even lead things along the way to pass on a little of themselves to the next peregrino. Rock statues, arrows and signs are common and make you feel really connected to the people that have walked ahead of you. Honestly, it feels like one thing after another. I'm limping again. My left Achilles tendon is very, very painful. Last time I limped into Pamplona with a sore knee. This time I'm limping into Burgos with a really sore calf and Achilles tendon. Uh, our plan, however, is to stay in a hotel tonight and have a rest day. I think we could do with a little bit of uh, recovery time and hopefully with some rest and uh, perhaps some anti-inflammatories, uh, my tendon will feel better. Fingers crossed. Well, my body seems to be failing me. We went out to go to the supermarket and I can't really walk. So I'm sitting here having a beer while Dad and Martin go to the supermarket. Very frustrating. Very frustrating. Pain in my Achilles tendon is really bad. Both of them now. I guess I wait here and rest <coughs> and stay in Burgos as long as I need to to wait until they heal. This was part one of a three-part series. Subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss out on more adventures. Cheers!